This is Wang and today's word is that. Okay, I know that some of you are wondering, like, why that? It's so familiar, everybody knows it, right? But not really. Actually, the meaning that I'm gonna talk about today is a little bit more advanced, so it's not gonna be that familiar. So, the first advanced meaning of the word that is actually complete. So, for example, if you say that we waited in dead silence, it means that we waited in complete silence. Or, you know, when you give directions, you can say go dead ahead. It means go straight ahead. The second meaning of this word is actually quiet. And, for example, when in the speaking test, if the examiner asks you, like, what do you hate about your hometown? You can say something like, well, unlike the vibrant nightlife in Ho Chi Minh City, my hometown is completely dead after 8 o'clock. It means that my hometown becomes, you know, really quiet and there is no longer any other activity around. So the third meaning is actually about your body. So we usually use it when we want to say that we can no longer feel a part of our body anymore. So we usually say a part of our body has gone dead. So for example, if you say that my arm has been dead, it means that I can no longer feel my arm anymore because maybe I have sat on it for a long time. So that's all I want to talk about the word dead. Okay, so you can clearly see that you don't need overcomplicated words. Even familiar basic words but with a different meaning can also help you impress the examiner. Okay, so I hope you guys find this useful and see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment and share.